हे गाइज माई नेम इज तोशेंद्र शर्मा फाउंडर ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन काउंसिल एंड तोश ब्लॉक्स वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू लॉन्च अ सीरीज ऑफ पॉडकास्ट इन ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजीज टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स यूज केसेज एंड टेक्निकल इनोवेशन बिहाइंड दिस टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव डिजाइन दिस पॉडकास्ट सीरीज फॉर एवरी वन ऑन टू अंडरस्टैंड द ब्लॉक चेन एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट सीरीज आई होप यू गाइज विल फाइंड इट यूजफुल so our topic for the first episode is why blockchain should not be considered as a technology of only bitcoin and cryptocurrencies so before i begin i want to quickly go through the blockchain and try to explain in short what is blockchain and how it works so blockchain is a peer to peer network of computers and servers which are together taking certain decisions without having any single or multiple trusted computer to take that decision so you can imagine if there are 1000 computers they have to take a certain decision on a certain thing then there is no single boss or leader who will actually be helping them to decide because when the decision power is with some single entity or single computer it is very easy for everyone to go there to that computer and ask for the decision but if there are no boss or there is no leader then it becomes very complicated so the blockchain actually offers that decentralized consensus algorithms which decide all the computers in the network to decide on a certain topic or a decision and then proceed ahead on a that basis so in other words it's simple that there is no one to decide if a certain thing is right or wrong and everyone in the computer network decides this together using these consensus algorithm so reaching to a consensus without having any boss leader or a superior together is the actually core component of the blockchain and that's why the blockchains are being considered as something which can lead to the future innovations because of the trustless they offer so you can imagine the whole consensus logic is like executing an election on every second for every single decision among a 1 billion people without having any election commission or government or a authority so everybody will decide together without having any boss so this is the most beautiful and the core component of the blockchain and because of that core component the cryptocurrencies are being created on top of it so cryptocurrencies are one of the implementations of the blockchain they are not the blockchain so what i have explained just now about the blockchain is actually a very generic sense of blockchain there are tons of other things before you go into deep and try to understand what exactly and how exactly the blockchain works so we will cover those things in the upcoming topics so this blockchain technology which empowers bitcoin or other cryptocurrency that you might have heard about can actually be used in the very powerful industrial applications such as data security record keeping supply chain cross border banking transaction something like one bank want to transfer some money to another bank without having any trusted authority which will decide whether the transaction is valid or can be done or not a voting system where the votes can be recorded into the blockchain which will remain secure and safe and there is no way someone can go back alter or tamper the voting and then let anyone believe that the tampered voting is right that is not possible in the blockchain so technically the blockchain technology is an independent and distributed technology which empowers bitcoin and not the bitcoin itself so blockchain is like an internet and bitcoin is like a application built on top of internet so you can compare the internet with blockchain and maybe facebook with bitcoin because facebook is like an application of internet right no not the exactly internet but of course many people think that even facebook is just internet so of course so facebook is an implementation just like google is also an implementation of the internet so bitcoin is one of the implementation there are tons of other things that can be done so the question is why cryptocurrencies use blockchain technologies only why not they can be built on top of other things so actually blockchain technology offers a very powerful features something like immutability non repudiation and not dub- and non double spending uh, you know as a feature into the blockchain so these features actually makes it a best use case for the cryptocurrency so if you have a cryptocurrency you don't want to spend it two times right because if you have a one bitcoin you are sending it to someone you don't want to you send that same bitcoin to someone or maybe you want to but you cannot so technically that becomes the best 
feature that cryptocurrency need that's why it is being built on top of blockchain not on the other traditional technologies because if you build the cryptocurrencies on top of any traditional technologies like mysql database or a centralized server then the trustless will not uh, be there because you need to make the currencies trustless you don't have to trust someone who is giving you the money to get the money right that's the feature that cryptocurrencies need so ideally we can use the blockchain in any field to bring transparency like in voting system in real estate record keeping in small sectors to secure certain data and integrity of the data and of course we'll be coming up with the more series to talk about more on a specific use cases and how they works so to summarize everything blockchain offers tons of features like trustless data transfer record keeping data security immutability which makes it very very useful in many industry and not just a technology for bitcoin and cryptocurrency so there are a lot of good good products are going to come maybe some have already been launched and more products are coming in future which will be solving this trust issues in the technology to actually execute or build certain corporate innovations so thank you guys for listening let's meet on the next episode and then talk about the other topics keep watching this space for upcoming podcast and keep sharing your reviews if you have a certain topic in mind you want to share with us please let us know thank you